yeah. I just happened to, uh... Wait, what's going on here? I, like, pulled my mouse off the screen? Well, you, you guys can read it while I figure out what the fuck I've done with my screen here. There we go. The Riverside Incident. And uh, something I noticed from booting the game up a few times, just to, just because I needed to see uh, how it starts. Like, I, whenever I do a stream like this, I always test that, you know, it actually works right and shit. Um, but this game starts you off in different starting locations, seemingly at random. It right, doesn't seem to be a way to up my sensitivity, but I'm assuming that's by design. Yeah, it's kind of crazy to think that there's people who, like, really only know... Oh, let me see what... Alright, it's very simple controls so far. No crouching, just walking. And this is all supposed to be a found footage style. This is something that I really love uh, about their games. Is that... Let me check that other door, because it looks like there's a lot of stuff out there. It seems like each one kind of alludes to a different uh, horror subgenre. Like, the last one was definitely like a nod to Italian horror. Now we're going into found footage. Actually, like... And thinking about the Italian horror one... Something... Oh, this reminds me so much of the... Uh, the nun game. Hmm. Yeah, actually, I found out some extra things about Alex Shepard that I didn't put in my video. Probably better that I didn't put them in the video because uh, it's not necessarily relevant to the circumcision story. Uh, yeah, the glass staircase is what I was talking about with the Italian horror. Um. Which, before I go into the more about the Alex Shepard thing, I was listening to uh, some Italian horror music last night. I was listening to Inferno, which is uh, the sequel to Suspiria, basically. And I, and I didn't realize Keith Emerson from Emerson, Lake, and Palmer made that soundtrack. And it's cool. Like, he really captured uh, the right aesthetic. But I uh, was along that line because I was thinking, man, I really want to make an album. Like, there's certain albums that, like, concept albums that I would like to make that's just inspired by these kind of fringe genres. Like, I would love to do an album that's inspired by Italian horror movie soundtracks. I want to do another one that's inspired by Japanese wrestling entrances. So I kind of went along those lines of, like, stuff I was listening to. All right, there's a lot of doors here that I don't seem to be able to open. But yeah, back on Alex Shepard. Apparently, there was a guy who he came around and he uh, he knew he was a friend of Alex Shepard's in real life. And uh, is this looping? I feel like this is looping. But let me go up one more flight and see. No, because this door looks a little different. No, it's... The, the tower shape is a reference to a phallus. Um... Look out the window and see. Is there anything I could see out here? Didn't look like it. But yeah, apparently this dude, Alex Shepard, he, uh... What's... Wait, what? Now, is that a glitch or is that supposed to happen? But yeah, uh, so the guy's friend, he had all these stories about Alex Shepard, including this dude, apparently, like, he got fired from his job 
because he refused to take his sunglasses off indoors? Which at that point, you hear, oh yeah, I, I don't think it is looping. I think I just, it's, it's a bit of a, a plod to the top of the stairs. Um, but yeah, once you hear a, a, about a dude who, he, uh, he's like, he's so like, oh, wait, what? All right, so I guess th that was, uh, hello, doll. Can I interact? Oh, I can zoom in. Oh, right, because I'm holding this camera. Oh, okay. Alright, so it's... So that sounded like someone. Jesus Christ! Thank you for the sub. Uh, the sub. I think someone else subbed me to me before. I forgot to thank them, but uh, thank you. But Luca, did you see it? <laughs> Your subscriber notification actually like uh, scared me a little bit there. I was like, wait, what? Oh crap. So I think it sounded like there was someone else listening to uh, a VHS. I feel like a lot of these elements are reused from... Uh, the nun game and uh, stay out of the house, which is fine. You don't, you don't. Why bother? If you've already made a cabinet, why bother making another cabinet? The game's not about the fucking cabinet. I feel like this game will have jump scares at some point. I mean, shit. Puppet Combo's games probably have, like, some of the most, uh, thus far the ones i played, have some of the most effective jump scares I've ever experienced in a game, so I wouldn't be surprised if this had them, too. Oh, is there something, like, scratched into the top here? I'm wondering where this goes, uh, because on Pupper Combo's Twitter, they were talking about how, like, about, like, putting this together, and, like, going back and making sure, like, the game was all good to go was, uh, some of the scariest shit for them personally. Alright, can I not? Alright, I can't go through this door. Okay, what's, well, uh, a dentist chair of sorts? Our puppet combo, the people who made exposure. I don't know exposure. Oh, there's another door here. They made Stay Out of the House. I believe Stay Out of the House is their only one that's on Steam. Like, they have a setup where they... They basically, they have a Patreon. And then when you subscribe to the Patreon, you get all their games. Alright, I was in... This is the baby doll room. Alright, so let me go in the other direction from the baby doll room. Oh, I guess. Oh, you know what? I, ha I haven't been paying attention to the time stamp before I make those jumps. That's probably important. 7.45, May 19th, 1989. It was 6.30 when we started the game, I believe. 
6.30, game time, that is. Is that an enemy? I just made me think of that fucking, uh, Dolplex TV put out, I don't know what he, what he is. I thought that was a face. It's <laughs> Wait, well, last night Dolflex TV he puts out this this video like he doesn't make these kinds of videos normally so and he put it out at like twelve in the morning so I'm kind of like what the fuck's going on here, but it was fucking funny. It's just like this uh, the title is something like Sonic the Hedgehog 2019, or Sonic the Hedgehog full movie or something like that. All right, so we got gas cans in here, and it's him and some other dude walking around in like the worst Sonic and Tails costumes ever. And at some point, he sees a bug on a rock, he's like, hey, is that an enemy? It's it's funnier than I'm describing it. It's fu this, this, is the, this is the home of the guy who collects all the foreskins. That's like, there's not gas in these. Uh, the gas cans. Or, no, you know, we gotta get into Alex Shepard mode. Uh, the gas cans symbolize... Uh, oh, this one, this is obvious foreskin circumcision right here, the wire cutters. Um, but the gas can represents, oh, we got tape, knives, it represents the gas that goes into the car of the doctor who goes to drive to the hospital to perform a circumcision. Okay, yeah, we are jumping up in time. And now I'm moving faster. We went ahead a few hours. Oh, creepy old timey music. That's how people sing. <laughs> Uh, why no Sekiro? Um, it's it's not. I don't have anything against Sekiro. It's just there's other games I'd rather play before. Like I'm just not in the mood for that kind of game lately. I'm playing like a lot of indie games, and I've gotten back into Call of Duty. I've been playing remasters with my friends. I'll probably last night. Oh, it sucks. Last night. Would have been a good Call of Duty stream. Like, I was playing well, and I was just, like, losing my fucking mind on the rants I was going on. It, it, it was a... Uh, would have been a good stream to have. I think next time I play Call of Duty, I'll just go live. I've been... Uh, what? What's happening to my audio here? Is it because I'm zooming in on that? Oh man, it's like... Here's the thing, like, it's... I don't know if that comes across on the stream, but it's like... The sounds are, like, circling around me. Like it's moving from left ear to right ear. I'm getting close... Oh no, I, I know what that means in a pop-up combo game where, like... Uh, I'm getting, like, a. Uh, the audio getting progressively more fucked up means I'm getting close to something. I don't know what's, what's going to be on the other side of this door. Uh, did Alex Shepard ever get banned from the other wikis? I know he got banned from Xenosaga. Actually, Xenosaga, I saw. Uh, I didn't go into... Hello.
Yeah, like in on my end, the the audio was going from left to right. What was it? Oh yeah, he he got banned from. Uh, let me just press this door a little. No, I think those steel doors. It's like the doors I can go through. They're a little cracked. <laughs> But yeah, there was like a little bit of uh, a back and forth trying to get Alex Shepard banned from the Xenosaga wiki because the wiki has rules. So basically, like, in order to keep things from uh, keep things like kind of fair, wiki doesn't intervene in any of the wiki disputes unless there's like unless it's like absolutely like no one else that can help with anything or the, you know there's like no admin admin other admins so like there was like this weird power struggle that wiki according to their own rules wasn't able to intervene in let me go in here oh yeah now we got this blue window here i think that's where it was before jumped another two hours and i'm outside now Oh, there was something someone said in here that I wanted to say something about. Let me, do I think Michael Myers? Shit. Oh, Chills narrating this. That's what it was. Imagine... I, I love doing a Chills impression. At first... See, at first I felt bad about doing it because I thought there was something wrong with him. But he was like, no, this is just like how I talk. There's nothing wrong with me. So now we can do the Chills voice all day, and it's not offensive to do the Chills voice because he is a good boy. The Riverside, number 10, the Riverside Incident. You wouldn't want to get caught in a building where you walk around two hours. Number nine, this kitchen with glass windows that I can't get inside of. <laughs> oh! What would happen if you got inside of it? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Sorry, Chills. <laughs> he seems like a cool dude, but... Uh, I. Number nine, a landscape in the colors of the gay flag. He has a, did you guys listen to Chills' rap song? This is Chillin' with Dylan. Let's go upstairs. Now, we listen to that JC Penny catalog music now. Oh, we're in a bougie house. They got a cell phone in 1989. We're gonna get, Patrick Bateman's gonna get us. This is art. Unironically, like. I, I feel like my dream house is one of <laughs> number seven Burger King foreskin lettuce. You wouldn't like it if your feet were on a foreskin. And they have a computer. But yeah, unironically, my dream home is probably like one of these 80s style, like minimalist bougie houses. Like, some shit you could picture them, like, living in, in, like, Robocop or Hellraiser or something. That's my aesthetic. Somerville. Where's Somerville? It sounds like New York, because you said produces. This channel, channel three. Oh, fuck! Cunt!
Uh, well, I guess I have multiple characters then. Alright, now I'm in the woods. Alright, so I guess you, you don't, uh... You don't go up the stairs in the bougie house. And this, this character's slow. And this only happened, like... This now is basically a few minutes after... Wait, what? Is that the end of the game? I don't know about that. Hmm.